Hi Aquarius Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Tim Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Aquarius, unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a four card spread using the Egyptian tarot deck. I'm going to clarify those four cards using the tarot of a moon garden deck. And at the end of your read, I will do an overall card using the Moonology Oracle cards. And then also doing a card coming from the Major Arcana using the Golden Tarot deck. I've already pre-shuffled all four decks. I'm going to shuffle the first deck just a few more times and split the deck to begin your read. Just want to touch on the lemons that we have here, giving honor, recognition, and thanks to Leo Moons who are being featured in the Spotlight series for this round of readings. I came across some information in doing some research on Leo Moons for this spotlight series for them and discovered some information on cell salts. Cell salts being similar to homeopathic medicine. It's a therapy that's meant to work on both the energetic and nutrient level together. There are 11 elements that are combined to form 12 cell salts. And of these 11 elements, magnesium and phosphorus combine to make magnesium phosphate, which is Leo cell salt. This cell salt helps to keep the motor nerves in top functioning order. And it's also necessary to the formation of the skeletal structure. There are a list of foods that contain magnesium phosphate. And on this list were lemons. And so I thought this was a wonderful choice with us, a lot of us being in the summer season, already incorporating this beautiful fruit into our atmospheres. And so also too, if you have Leo energy, this could be very beneficial. I highly recommend looking into it. I will leave all this information in the description box along with the traditional information that I leave for the Spotlight series. And if you know any Leo moons, do send them some love. Okay, so Aquarius Moons, your first card. We have is Justice. This being a card of eight in this particular deck here. I am seeing the Queen of Swords in this card. So you cutting off what no longer serves, you bringing in Justice by doing so here. Seeing the sword here. But then also the the wonderful magic that comes with what's the, what's taking place with the change in the atmosphere in your world here seeing these skills of balance there too. Things being brought back into balance that have been, I feel, possibly way in balance for quite a while. And so divine just coming through, this being energetic law as well with the eight energy that also representing infinity symbol of as within, so as without. So what you put out there is what you get back. I do feel that this is Empress energy and this is not gender specific, just seeing an energy of sitting very confidently, looking forward to the future, well, more than ready to welcome good balance towards the future and what it is that you're moving into and moving towards, cutting away at what no longer serves. It may have been a particular, I'm seeing this energy connected to the throne here, possible this being about a connection that is, um, being severed and you moving forward here. An energy of flight. There being some energy also too of a transition, uh, some kind of transitioning energy here. The feelings and emotions that take place with a separation moving through this in a progressive manner so that it's properly healed. This fan, I'm getting that you're very into your decorating when it comes to your home. So also making sure, this being a part of Venus energy and Venus being the ruler of Libra. So you making sure that your surroundings are very comforting and healing 
as you're moving through a particular phase here with this justice energy just overall i'm getting things being brought back into balance for you here you being assisted and supported by your ancestors being in a pure state seeing the white energy this could also represent cancerian energy with cancer being ruled by the moon white being a color for the moon and also for cancer the asp i'm seeing being significant related to kundalini energy and how it is that you brought about this change here creating justice in your world this being manifested eighth house energy of scorpio coming through as well so we've got libra energy and then also scorpio energy cancerian energy as well What you have built, moving into newer things here, I'm seeing the energy of that white coming through with the Cancerian energy and that representing unconditional love with that moon energy included with it, where I'm also getting Venus energy tied to this. And then the gold energy, just representing the value of what it is that you stand on, how it is that you are supported and this being a part of your true worth as well. The green energy I'm seeing here being a part of your foundation and that also representing unconditional love with green representing the heart chakra, but then abundance here too with that green also being a color for Taurus. So some good energies. I do feel this is about you overall from within making discoveries in different ways when it comes to who it is that you truly are, the different facets of you moving into more of a discovery and expanding on this, learning more and receiving more gifts and downloads from the ancestors. And then this discovery of increasement here, I'm also seeing the symbol here for cancer. That six and that nine being significant as well. That also speaking to the balance and then yin and yang energy I'm getting. But overall, um, a good balance from within yourself here. And this being again about what it is that you're putting out there, you're receiving back in return doing the inner self work for yourself. And I'm getting this as being a phoenix. So that being about phoenix rising with cutting off what no longer serves you, moving away from past energies that may be wanting to stay attached to you. I'm getting a lingering energy here. You bringing in justice and having the scales of balance, that also representing truth, that sort of truth with this Queen of Swords energy, being strong in your truth and purity and being in comfort and moving forward, looking forward to the future. Your second card. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. So with this energy I'm getting, this is um, about battles being over, fighting being over, you removing yourself, that being a part of that Queen of Swords, and you cutting off what no longer serves. So not participating in a Five of Swords energy that has been around in your atmosphere, realizing that this is an unwanted energy that's in your atmosphere and doing that inner work, it, going back to the inner work where there's inner conflict that was taking place from within yourself more related to your mental state, healing the mind as well. That being connected to the moon energy and possibly why there's so much white energy that's coming through here. Being grounded, but then also being elevated as I'm also seeing the feet connected to this white cushion, but I'm getting that as being some kind of energy that's being leveled out, connected to the asp energy at the top of the crown here and being a part of this, like a solarizing energy, that healing energy from within, connected to that moon energy. Possibly moon phases being a part of this and uh, the transformation and the transitioning that's coming through with that Phoenix there too. That being Scorpio energy connected to the eighth house energy as well. But with the five of swords, this just being about battle, being over, you not participating, you working out that inner conflict from within yourself and that all unfolding and dissolving. 
more five energy is about change and then also to sexual attraction so with that sexual attraction and this lingering and attaching energy possibly some obsession i'm seeing that eye representing that and not necessarily having anything to do with third eye energy getting this as being spy energy also connected to a five of swords where i am getting it being connected to this latching um, lingering energy here that you are cutting off here and moving forward towards balance it was bringing an imbalance possibly being connected to you and draining you this being a part of these overturning of the swords here too i'm getting that that draining energy so justice coming in on a situation that was a five of swords a battling and fighting possibly third party situation that was bringing about a five of swords an energy of wanting to continue conflict maybe as a distraction to uh, keep the mind off of the true focus of what was really happening in front of the eye there but then in reverse i am getting spying with this being over the month of may could be significant as well with that five energy and the fifth month but that five could also represent other things for you as well so do take it as it resonates uh, let's move this over here since we're doing four cards with that five energy being about change and also transform transforming change as well this is being a part of your journey here something that was manifested in order to help you to come into greater power to be able to stand in your truth and stand up for yourself and stand for what's right and what's just swords energy being air energy your energy here and um, gemini and libra so good libra energy you could have been dealing with the libra And also have strong Libra in your chart. Three of Swords energy I'm getting here. That being about that third party energy. And then Two of Swords being about indecision. Spying while being in the Two of Swords of indecision. So that being a part of that distraction energy that was coming through with this being in the upright from the past. This being over. And justice being brought to it, the scales of balance coming through, connected to this forward energy here. This also possibly affecting your abundance here with that draining energy, your energy being drained to an extent here that was affecting your overall ability to manifest and bring in abundance as your energy was being distributed amongst this energy that was latching, possibly why they were latching and lingering and hanging on. You coming into awareness, being guided, bringing that change in for yourself with that phoenix and cutting this off. Your third card is the King of Pentacles. And look what comes in, even with the sunlight and the awareness here, the beauty of the sun shining on you, healing you and restoring you and you holding your hands up. I feel this is about you receiving the gifts, being open to receiving and relying on yourself in the universe here rather than outside individuals who have brought this five of swords energy. So eliminating this, now being more open and expansive. And that was coming through. That also could be connected to this fan energy here and that being a part of Divine wisdom being above the crown connected to the asp energy that was on the crown here. This just being a higher elevation of energy that's coming through. I'm also seeing fan energy with the rays of the sun here. Ace of pinnacle energy that's coming through where I'm getting that being connected to the downloads that you're receiving creating and manifesting a new beginning by surrendering to the universe and being open 
to this. This king energy is making up one of four kings that all combine to create emperor energy. That being Aries energy. Where I am getting this being connected to that first card with first house energy being Aries. And this just being about you really putting yourself first. Taking that action and initiation is also bringing yourself into balance with that Libra energy and the scales. Now with the elimination of this Five of Swords and that being over. Feminine energy here, masculine energy here. You being restored, coming back into balance here. And being materially wealthy. Also being able to increase that, that wealth as well. Where you're very versatile and know how to invest, receiving the knowledge and the wisdom here, being open to this and bringing in even more. Connected to past life energy, ancestral energy. Just seeing the, it's like a crystalline energy, the sun and you connecting here. This also being Leo energy, even with this being pinnacle here and that being earth energy capricorn taurus and virgo and this also being forward and east energy that being connected to the aries energy and moving forward mars energy being about that forward east energy and mars being the ruler of aries and scorpio we did have scorpio there very loving individual as well, one who is looked up to, having a lot of accomplishment and establishment, but a great investor and creating even more here with this Ace of Pentacles. So having a new start that's bringing in a great amount of wealth here, being very strong in your power and glowing up. Your fourth card. We have is the two of wands in reverse. And so I'm just getting this as being a part of that lingering energy. Like the more that you progress and take a step forward and increase yourself, there's that latching energy, this lingering energy that I feel wants to still want to um, grab your attention where I do feel that you're unbothered seeing the progression with the justice energy and then moving into this King of Pentacles beyond this Five of Swords in reverse and then even this Two of Wands here. This also being about not taking a new direction when it comes to another and having made um, a decision for yourself, not making a new start here. Two energy is about partnership. And I do feel, again, it's connected to this energy, which is also connected to this energy. This making a seven here. Sevens being about that seventh house energy of Libra connected to the scales of balance here. So with these both being in reverse, that's speaking to the imbalance that this energy that I'm getting being still lingering here that you are cutting off successfully here bringing some imbalance there's just being an imbalance with that five and that two combining to make the seven there being in reverse and that eye coming through that being the similar energy that's coming through here there being, even though this is a five here and this is a two, I feel with each step that you make in your progression and glowing up and moving away from what no longer serves, there's an intensity. Seeing the black energy here and then more of a red energy here. I do feel this is a part of an awakening experience as well with that being sun energy and you being a reflective energy of the sun here and this king of pentacles here. And I'm hearing a moon raw. So that may resonate for some of you. A moon robbing the sun god. I'm going to move this up here. And I do feel because we have this here, we're going to do one more card.
we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this being that slow and steady energy of you progressing and moving forward, gaining even more abundance, this being the most abundant night energy out of all four nights, which makes up that chariot energy, the chariot being the seven in the major arcana, which is super cool. This being upright. So that seven energy, you being persistent and consistent and being on the right path, working towards that ace of pentacle here and that being here. Defending your new start here in the ace of pentacle. Night energy also about defending the element that it represents in the card. Make sure these are straight here. Yep, so great movement forward and progression, just as I was feeling. And I do feel that this is just, it's almost like, um, like I'm getting Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd type energy, where there's just pop-up energy as you continue to move forward. And you are moving forward successfully, staying focused. You can see the forward movement in each of these cards. and steady focus, continuing to gain even more as you move forward. This being the most financially responsible night in the deck as well. Slow moving, but very steady, very responsible. And on the up and up, building. Good supportive energy. See the purity with the white in each of those cards too. Beautiful. And I'm even getting this as being a Trinity energy, seeing these cards with the feminine, the masculine, and then divine energy being represented here, where I am getting a six of cup energy connected to a younger energy with that being the night energy, which is beautiful. That's speaking to your balance, going back to that seven energy, that being connected to that chariot. The chariot being about you taking that rest period of contemplation and observation for yourself, listening to yourself and your intuitiveness, to make the best decision for yourself and moving forward towards what it is that you want to see for yourself. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. And seeing the great growth here and the flowers here. The foundation being very pure and able to grow and manifest. Good bounty. Fives are connected to also Leo energy, which is your polarity energy. So there being a transmutation of a five energy overall. And you bringing more adventure into your life with that Ace of Pentacle. More than happy to bring in, you know, good money and stability. Most importantly, that Pentacle being about that as well. And groundedness. Good supportive energy that you have here overall. Let's get to your clarifiers. Give me one second. We'll clarify the justice card. So the page of staffs 
in reverse. Where I'm getting this being connected to the two of wands here and the reversal energy. But this being about some immaturity with this page energy being present here and this bringing about transformation for you here. I do feel that you coming along this person's path was designed to help bring transformation into their life as well. There being a significant change when it came to a new moon energy. But this being, I am getting this being about learning a lesson. This may have been a fun, interesting connection here with this being staff and being fire energy here, staffs being wands. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Fucus, and that Leo energy coming through, the connection to a Leo possibly with that five energy, fifth house energy of Leo. But um, with that fun, being connected to the level of maturity here, with this being in reverse, I'm just getting there being too much immaturity and a part of that lashing and lingering energy. So this page of staffs being a part of that energy that's coming through here that you are releasing to bring in balance into your life. And a part of that immaturity coming through here with the Five of Swords in reverse and then the Two of Wands in reverse. I'm hearing, you know, maybe giving the impression of wanting a new start, being in the page energy, delivering messages, possibly love bombing with the amount of energy that's present here that's coming through as you are progressing and moving towards greater abundance and stability. That's just being about that latching energy there. Let's clarify the five of swords. Clarify the Five of Swords. We have the Star, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this being someone who is famous, who is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, who one who is wealthy, and this is being connected to this immature energy of a latching and lingering energy that is possibly still spying on you. I am seeing <laughs> the energy here where this could be you here and the transforming, uh, transforming energy that's taking place, seeing the energy here with the butterfly and that being a part of you being a transformative energy in this person's life here so that they can grow up and that being their choice, but you being a part of their path for this reason here is what I'm getting, but them peeking in on you here possibly shape-shifting in some kind of way to be in your presence or try to be in your energy here with that spy energy, the intensity coming through as you continue to keep moving forward. But the Queen of Pentacles being about one who has the intentions, um, not very good intentions when it comes to others, not wanting to see the best for others, being in a greedy energy here, having everything, but still wanting to have everything for themselves and not share. Also being one who worries heavily about money. Having a good amount of money here, but worrying about money and then also too, not really taking care of their money. Seeing the way that the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is holding this pinnacle here with this being in reverse, that being the opposite of that energy. And not really transforming here with that butterfly being there in this card here of the Queen of Pentacles. So I am getting passive aggressiveness here. There being some issue with communication also to seeing that blue. And that being the part of the reason that I do feel that you're moving on as well, cutting off that energy, just it's 
coming through as a very immature energy that I feel you've been a part of this again to assist and help with transformation as this person is also helping you with transformation as we do have that present here but this again going back to being about a choice and this person not making the choice here to grow up Let's clarify the king of pentacles Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is quite a bit, but we'll take it. <laughs> Let me get the other cards put together here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, which we have right here. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So you being balanced amidst all of this, we do have the full moon backing here, the illumination and the strengthening of you, that connection that was coming through here very strong moon energy you being in your power here i do feel these pinnacles are what you've created here that pinnacle there and then this pinnacle here but then also representing the scales of balance coming through from the justice card being a magician energy here too seeing the wand to being about partnership but then also you being in good balance and good thought. I am getting this too overall being about your masculine and feminine energy and having and maintaining this wonderful balance here. This being earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, and more of this earth energy here. But again, we have this here representing you and what it is that you're manifesting. Steady movement forward. Manifesting also to the newness here, seeing that castle and that being connected to that new moon energy. Creating a new with the new moon energy opposite the new moon energy that was here dealing with an immature energy. So just transmuting the energy here. And then here we have the three of cups in reverse. I am getting this as being about the end of third party energy. So that was coming through here in that five of swords in reverse. And then also being here with that five of swords, the three of swords and the two of swords creating that five overall. This being connected to this. Seeing the energy here, this could be about um, with that third party energy, you being <laughs> you being this energy here is what I'm getting. And the lower vibrational energy coming from that immaturity here, having these um other parties, other individuals here connected to a relationship or a partnership here where they may have been seeing more than one person here or connected to other people that were in feminine energy and um, not really having a good vibration from these energies here, seeing them underneath this moon in this way where I do feel that this is you here. Being um, the obvious here being very evident amongst the crowd here the end of this being underneath the king of pentacles you moving away from this energy here this being something that you're no longer wanting in your life making sure you don't manifest this again here maintaining balance moving towards your abundance even more of your abundance i'm getting planting good seeds seeing the energy here with the fields and just continuing to elevate towards your dreams and desires here. Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting this being, with this being here in the Three of Cups, this being about a wish and it, you being a wish come true, you being this person's wish is what's coming through there. Um, but with the Nine of Pentacles, it's also being about single energy. That Nine of Cups was coming through as wish fulfillment here. But Nine of Pentacles being about one who is stable, one who's independent, one who is seen and adored. And I'm feeling this being a part of some kind of obsession energy with that spy energy coming through very strongly with the eye energy and the intensity of this. So what I'm getting also is um, with you being a wish fulfillment, being someone's wish here, you being in this stable energy, being very structured, sound, 
having your own, being a part of that King of Pentacles energy and just continuing to glow up. This being a part of the elevation of where you started and then you just continuing to elevate and rise up, being fed and nurtured and replenished by the sun energy here, but then also the moon energy, those being phases, it just being like a 24-7 a type energy I'm getting. But this also being a single energy here too as well. Very abundant. The Nine of Pentacles is also the Empress energy in the Minor Arcana. So you having good value. This being about your value and you having all the, the tools that you need to be able to bring in and manifest. And that being here with this King of Pentacles, that being your choice. That also speaking to the balance from within yourself with this being Empress energy and then the King energy representing Emperor energy. So you being strong in your power to be able to manifest and create even more of that abundance, but then also being a wish come true and through for who it is that you were connected to in the past and the reason of the latching and lingering energy that's present. We have an Ace of Cup here, that being a part of you cutting off a situation here that I do feel this was more about uh, selfishness and there being the energy of not sharing, that being a part of that Queen of Pentacles energy. And then also a new start that was to be for you. And with this full connected to this and this being in reverse as well, this just confirming the energy of there not being a new start, you making the choice to not move forward with an immature energy here that was draining and um, that had plenty, but wasn't there wasn't um, reciprocity or equal give and take. That being a part of this overall imbalance. Water energy. And then this being right at the beginning of the major arcana. Overall, having this card here. That's right here at the end of your read here. You're very focused and very steady and succeeding here to create and bring in that new beginning and new start for yourself of a heavy amount of abundance. Clarify the two of wands. Clarify the two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Ten of staffs in reverse. And right away I'm getting that combined with that two, creating an overall energy of three. That going back to the imbalance. dealing with masculine, feminine, and divine energy. So with the reversal energy, this not contributing to your overall balance when it came to your masculine and feminine, you overpowering and taking your power back and making sure and creating what it is that you wish to see. But this being also um, with just the energy of the Ten of Staffs, this being about burdens being over here. And also to the latching and lingering energy with this Ten of Staffs being here, not um, necessarily getting over a situation and this overall being burdensome, but still wanting to hang on and be a part of your energy. That's speaking to that Ten of Staffs there too. The Tens are about endings going into new beginnings. And this is reversal energy again, aligned with reversal energy staffs being fire energy more of your polarity energy so this definitely being about some shadow work here and the shadow work presenting itself to contribute to your glow up and greater abundance I'll clarify the knight of pentacles clarify the knight of pentacles
Let's see, we're gonna do these like this. So we got the Page of Cups, the Nine of Staffs, and the Moon card. So this being about that energy, that strong energy that was coming through with the Justice card and the connection here, where I'm getting this not being necessarily tied to secrecy. The secrecy is coming through in your read here as far as the spying energy and the latching and lingering, lingering energy that's coming through and what it is that you've been dealing with. And I feel that's about this moon card here, but you also being very strong in your moon power. Being very strong in your moon power. And that being a part of the shadow work that's helping you to increase. Releasing, seeing the moon and the tear there. You going through that shadow work and even seeing the energy here with the moon there. Ecliptic energy coming through, this being very transformative energy. So it may have been very, very painful is what I'm getting with that five of swords and the way that it is in position and then still the energy wanting to present itself as you continue to move forward you're overcoming throughout each of these energy uh pop-ups here but this being very significant and transformative for you designed to help increase that sunlight energy from within here to help you move towards that light and be that healing energy and you have done that here in that king of pentacles you coming into this awareness bringing in your abundance. So it all not being for naught here, and you have reached the castle here, seeing that here with that Knight of Pentacles and that being here as well. You reaching your goal, possibly crying because of how, how difficult it was for you to get to this point here. Maybe looking back as well on all that it is that you've experienced in that shadow energy realizing how far it is you've come, how successful you really have been and continue to be. Being proud of yourself, this being strong reflective energy here. But seeing how it is that you've changed and being proud of yourself, there being a, it's a healing energy too. It's happy and it's healing. It's releasing, healing, and then happy energy I'm getting here because you are obtaining the success, but through this moon energy here, where it's um, a good, intense, deep transformational energy, helping to bring balance back into your life. This being connected to the nine of staffs, this being the wounded warrior energy, this being a card of Ephucus, also the card of Chiron, this being about your purpose. And if you don't know your Chiron, I would definitely look into that. But that being a part of what it is that you are designed to go through and to, um, with your Aquarius energy, stand for the truth of what is in you and what, what it is that you represent, what it is that you're here to bring to a close. So false perceptions that are coming to the surface that you are putting the truth to so that these cycles can be fully completed and going through, you know, some very intense situations with um, with people, but these being very transformative to help you to increase. This being more fire energy, polarity energy, shadow energy, nine energy being Sagittarius energy connected to Jupiter, that being about benefic energy, and then also uh, greater spirituality and gain of knowledge and wisdom. Page of Cups, this being that freeing energy and what was coming through with that child energy and you being, getting back to the joys of what it is that made you happy. That being a part of that reflective energy there too as well. And you making this discovery again from within yourself after going through some intense periods of your life here. Coming through the, getting through the obstacles. I'm also getting that to seeing the, the amount of trees. This is also an energy about overcoming. That also being connected to the chariot energy. The chariot card is also about overcoming. So having this aligned with this Knight of Pentacle energy, 
just speaks to the impact of how it is that you've really truly overcome and that also coming through in the moon card this being a card of 18 that also breaks down to a nine so two nines you may be seeing nine nine those being about completions again even more of that energy of you overcoming successfully getting back to the childlike energy so that you can be happy and have fun and renew yourself as you're moving into greater abundance here that you're manifesting. Some of you may be manifesting balloon rides here, really wanting to take part in some, some good fun. You may be doing some great things in the nighttime here, going to certain events, chilling, hanging out, enjoying good wine, possibly listening to good music, being in an area of great beauty where there are beautiful uh, floral arrangements or being in a garden or being somewhere where you're able to sit and watch and view the beauty of all that's happening around you. This being part of that beautiful Venus energy that's connected to the moon energy that was coming through in the justice card, that justice coming through for you all here with your final cards here. This is beautiful. Great completion and you restoring that happiness cups energy is water energy that being about the emotion and then messages with the page energy but then also that just being connected i was getting strongly that being about the childlike energy from within that did come through with that knight of pentacles there this could also be about a child coming in as well Okay, so let's get to your final cards here. Move these down so we can see everything. For Aquarius Moons, do your moon card here. Aquarius Moons. That's too many. Let's see if we can get one. A new start is coming, new moon. And we have that new moon energy pretty strongly in your reading, which is super cool. That coming through right here. More confirmation for you about those completions and you overcoming successfully here and moving forward towards greater abundance. Ace of Pentacles, good amount of wealth. And I feel even greater health coming through too with the release of these particular energies and you overcoming. Let me grab the reading for this. Beautiful energy. A new start is coming. There is a yes coming your way this is one of the most auspicious cards in the deck it's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing the situation you're asking about is blessed and you are on target on target to achieve your goals the message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some way be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome if you've been feeling stagnant this card reminds you that life goes in cycles and you're moving into a new cycle now. This is the time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you asked about has become toxic, either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh is on its way. Attune to the moon by affirming, I'll see it when I believe it. Love it. And then additional meanings for this card. A new start is on its way. You will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. Forget about the past. The teaching. The new moon marks the start of the waxing cycle and the midpoint of the dark moon. It's a dark and veiled time when the moon is invisible and a time of rebirth. It's a time that witches do their work, making wishes and laying down intentions for the new cycle in an intensely magical time when it's easier to pierce the veil to other worlds. Beautiful energy. I love that. Love it, love it, love it for you. Let me grab the Major Arcana to complete your reading here. 
for Aquarius Moon. And that one had to flip, so we'll take that. That being the stars, wish coming true and through, more confirmation. You have great, wonderful things coming in for you. So what it is that you've been working on and manifesting is coming through for you. You are seeing your wish come true and through, this being that in the star card. And this being your energy, even more beautiful here. You're very much in your power. And that was coming through with the energy of the balance overall and how it is you're overcoming obstacles. A lot of good energy of overcoming. A lot of good energy of overcoming. And then to see you in between these energies here. Beautiful energy. This is a beautiful reading. Star power, you are. And you've restored, you've been restored and replenished and healed. That restoration energy coming through and the rebirth. And here you are glowing up even more in your magical essence, standing for what's true, fighting for what's right. And that most importantly, being about the love for yourself and your happiness at the end of the day. I love it. This was a great reading, Aquarius Moons. I hope that these messages were enjoyable helpful, enlightening, and enriching and empowering. Wonderful, wonderful read. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.